loner with a week's notice picked the absolute best location to assassinate President Trump when the entire Secret Service missed it. Director Cheadle, in your leadership, your agency got outsmarted and outmaneuvered by a 20-year-old. How can we have any confidence that you could stop a trained professionals from a nefarious nation state? Those are absolutely questions that we need to have I know they're questions, to. but I, you know, the, the fact of the matter is we can't have that confidence. Director, do you have the ability personally, and do you have the authority to beef up security of any of your protectees? Yes, I do. Okay. So were you also aware there was a credible threat uh, President Trump was facing? He was facing a heightened security threat due, due to a foreign adversary? Yes. Okay. So given that there was an increased threat to President Trump's life, was he provided a full security complement akin to what a sitting U.S. president would receive? He was provided a full complement of security based on the threat assessment that we had. That's not my question. And the venue. My question is, if he'd been the sitting president, would he have had the same security he had on July 13th or would have been beefed up? There is a difference between the sitting so president. Didn't. So your answer is he didn't. And continuity of government okay. and the responsibility that we So he did not. Had. Okay, there wasn't a CAT team. Uh, full CAT team on site. There wasn't counter surveillance teams on site. But this is the thing. You just said you had the ability to beef up the security. You knew about the threat, and you didn't. And that's as telling as it is chilling. We have satellite images from the Butler Fairgrounds. Have you visited the site? No, I have not. Nine days and you have not visited the site. You should have been there that night. Did you talk to that evening? Did you talk to the team, the heroes that surrounded the president? Did you call them that night? They were still operational work. So that's an answer is no. Did you call them the next the day? President. Yes, I spoke with you them. You called them the very next day, not the day of. Or was it 72 hours after? I don't know the timeline, but I spoke with okay, them you're under oath. immediately following. I think it was 72 hours after. You waited three days. What is immediately clear is that there are a number of structures that need to be secured. Of these, Director, other than the first, you know, immediate four, what's the most dangerous site that should have been secured? Because, you know, Security 101, you've got to mitigate the high ground. Yes. Okay. Do you know what the next most dangerous site, what was the closest structure to the president other than the four immediate ones that you had your counter sniper teams on? There are a number of structures around that event okay. site. You, you know who the shooter knew? The shooter has visited the site two more times than you have, and he had a drone, and he picked the AGR building. So you said, do you remember in an ABC interview you did that you didn't have people on the roof of the AGR building because you were worried about safety because of the slope? I recall that statement. Okay. Does the Secret Service have written policy you can share with us about slope roofs? No. Okay. So why did you act like there was one? Because is it your practice to comment on enormous uh, events of nor enormous national implications when you're ignorant of the facts? That's rhetorical. So here's this thing with the slopes. You go all up to like 1812, you can go to a 112, which is about as flat as you can get without it being completely flat. And you're saying that there was a danger, uh, safety concern there. But the problem is, Director, you put your counter snipers on a 312 roof, which is steeper than the 112. And by the way, the 112 is ADA compliant. You can build a, a ramp for a wheelchair on a 112 roof. So these are nothing but pathetic excuses, and they make no sense, and they're a bunch of cow dung. All the law enforcement I've spoken with over the last nine days are amazed that the AGR rooftop was not secure. And you want to know why? Because it's dangerous. I have never had any long gun training in my life. I own an AR-15, and I, last time I shot it, I shot it one time my whole life. It was six years ago. That is until Saturday, where we recreated the events in Savoy, Texas, where we recreated what happened in Butler. I was lying prone on a slope roof at 130 yards at 630 at night. And I knew that he had a scope, I didn't know what kind, red dot or magnified. So I shot eight rounds from both. You know what the result was? 15 out of 16 kill shots. And the one I missed would have hit the president's ear. That's a 94% success rate. And that shooter was a better shot than me. It is a miracle President Trump wasn't killed. Corey compared... Compared to Torrey's life is over because that damn shooter made it on the roof. And it wasn't the roof that was dangerous. It was a nut job on top of the roof. You know what else is dangerous? I believe your horrifying ineptitude and your lack of skilled leadership is a disgrace. Your obfuscating today is shameful. And you should be fired immediately and go back to Garden Doritos. Mr. Chairman, I yield back.